Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to go through the definition of an inflection point. So definition two, it says if F is a continuous, oh my goodness. If F is continuous at a point A and F changes concavity at point A, or I should say X equal to A, not point A, but continuous at X equal to A and F changes concavity at X equal to A, the point A comma F of A is an inflection point of the function F. So the question is how do we test for this? Okay, well, we have to remember how things behave on the graph. So let's just do a um, curve here. Okay, and we'll just draw some um, tangent lines, right? Like so, okay. And we notice that right tangent lines here, and then the other tangent lines. Oops, <laughs> missed it. Wasn't looking. So on. Okay, so all those tangent lines. Okay, now if we split this up, okay, notice here, Like so, let me do it that way. Okay, so now, if you look at this here, notice that in this interval here, the slopes are negative, right? So that would mean that f of prime of x is negative, right? And let's do over here. Then here, right at this minimum point, it changes, right? So then f prime of x is now greater than zero, right? And then here's the inflection point where this line is at. Now notice that the that the the tangent lines still have a positive slope. So here, f prime of x is still going to be positive, right? And then here, right at the maximum, it's going to change direction. So now f prime of x is going back to negative, right? Now let's look at the concavity. So this is all concave up, right? All the way to this inflection point. Okay, so this is, we can see from the graph this is concave up. So what would the second derivative be? Well, the second derivative would be positive, right? So positive here. Um, positive here. Right? And, oops, second derivative. And then over here, it's going to be concave down from the inflection point on, so here the second derivative is going to be negative. 
Okay, and so notice a couple of things. One, notice that at the inflection point, at this point here, it goes from concave up to concave down, which helps us find the inflection point. Okay? And notice that in this case here, this first derivative is positive, right, on both sides, right? So that doesn't really help us. But notice here at the minimum value, right, the minimum here and the maximum here, notice how when you have a minimum value, the concavity doesn't change, right? But the first derivative does change. And over here, the first derivative changes at the maximum, but the concavity doesn't change. Okay? So this gives us a test that we can use for um, finding concavity. So let's use this information. So let's use the first derivative and the second derivative to help us find these inflection points and also understand the concavity of the curve at the different points along the uh, domain. Okay? See you next time.